I was recently privileged to spend a weekend uh, chairing, co-chairing a conference in the Drakensberg, the Halema Motlante Foundation Inclusive Growth Conference. It's the second time we've run the conference and I thought I'd share with you some of the highlights because it was a gathering of 250 of South Africa's leaders from all walks of life, civil society, uh, business, uh, unions, government, we had a number of ministers there and it was a serious discussion about two things really, where is South Africa, where do we find ourselves, but also mainly about local government. I think as we all know, local government is where the, the, the rubber hits the road for most citizens. As Tip O'Neill, an American, famous American uh, congressman once said, all politics is from your gate to your front door. It's the provision of basic services that is a key responsibility of government. So a lot of the discussion was about dysfunctionality of local government and what needs to be done to fix it. Also amongst the speakers was the Chinese ambassador. He came with a large delegation to convince us of the Chinese story and also to talk about a partnership with China's future. It was an intriguing uh, discussion. He explained the dynamics of how they've lifted 400 million people out of poverty in the last 30 years. Quite an achievement, almost unique. But there was another side to this that was quite interesting that provoked discussion from delegates. He talked about the surveillance state. He talked about face recognition. He talked about how law and order is maintained and that anybody who does something that he said was wrong would be tracked down within seven minutes because of this facial surveillance technology. I'm not sure how people responded to that. Many thought it was great, many didn't. At the end of the conference, the speaker said that he wasn't sure this was what we wanted. We were a democratic society based on civil and human rights and that kind of surveillance is not what we need. And the example he used to great effect was to say, what do you think would happen if you walked across Tiananmen Square with a t-shirt uh, that said, Viva Hong Kong? That produced a laugh from the delegates. It's a big question. The role of China, its future, its politics, and our relationships with it. A number of ministers talked about SOEs. We talked about development and the plans of government and whether we can see the green shoots of turning this economy around. Our realities were reinforced. We were in the mountains in KZN, where there's a great deal of poverty, although there is a lot of development as well. But we were reminded that 20 million South Africans have been left behind. 20 million South Africans rely on a social grant. They're not productive in the economy. And of course, the great danger is we have another generation of people who are unable to access the resources, the institutions that we take for granted in modern states. So all in all, another good discussion, and I'm a believer in dialogue. I think that people need to understand each other's agenda. They need to know each other. They need to share ideas, and the energy in that conference was great, of people figuring out what they can do, but also, more importantly, how they can partner with others to take this country forward. I look forward to participating again next year.